I also want to talk about the new trends in technology, Ms. Murthy, with you. Chat GPT. It's the new game in town, and the reason I call it a game is because everybody's obsessed with it, right? It's the big AI disruption that we are seeing. What are your thoughts on it? Chat GPT is an excellent addition to knowledge generation. To doing certain of our tasks, for example, write an essay or something like all of that is fine. But let's remember, both you and I have access to the same chat GPT. The differentiation that you will show if there is a competition between you and me is you will use the chat GPT, the output as your base and then you, are, you will add your own uh, differentiation, your own smartness, your own uh, uh, tweaking. And that's when the teachers will be much more impressed with you than with me. So therefore, I am not so much worried about chat GPT. It's not, not like it's going to replace anybody. It will only shift our operation from the current orbit to the next higher orbit where differentiation will have to be demonstrated by people with a lot of thinking because you have already got the basic stuff. But so the platform is beating business and law school exams. Isn't that concerning? Well, I don't know whether, you know, uh, at the end of the day, I am a great believer in the theory that human mind is the most powerful imagination machine. There is nothing that can beat human mind. Therefore, I would use ChatGPT as an instrument in my armor and use it in an assistive manner rather than replacement manner. It will be assisting me in producing even better quality of work, even better quality of output. That's the way I look. It won't make people lazy. <laughs> no, because the lazy guys will get C. Only people like you, smart people, will get A. Because you will use uh, 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 chat GPT output as your base. And then you will add your own extraordinary imagination, extraordinary ideas on top of that. An application premium would Absolutely. come Absolutely. No, well, look at it this way. When I was a student, when I submitted the thesis, we were all uh, typing. And if there was a mistake in one page, that, paper, that page had to be thrown to dustbin and I had to retype again. But we got uh, word processors. Word processors did what the typewriters did in a much more efficient, more productive way. It saved a lot of our time, right? Did the world come to an end? No. Upgraded. So, yeah. So therefore, I am not that much worried about chat GPT. By 2030, how do you see the AI revolution taking shape? Well, AI will become all pervasive. AI will make some of the tasks uh, autonomous, like driving cars and things like that. But those people who use AI as an assistive technology, those people who ride on top of AI, they will be the true winners because human mind is the most flexible instrument ever invented. I personally believe that technology is a tool that will be used by human beings for them to become even more productive, for them to become even more imaginative, for them to become even more useful to the society. So I am not worried about technology replacing human beings, no. Thank you for watching and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.